Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This tutorial I will show you how to achieve perfect topology on curved surfaces. Sometimes uh, some problems are gonna be facing you when you try to model curved uh, surfaces and they have a solution how to add and use the create modifier which is shrink cloud modifier. So when you try to model circular object or uh, other non-flat surface, you can add holes and other details using a knife cut and loop tools, but it will usually break the surface smoothness. So I'm gonna be modeling uh, a bottle, for example. And let's add some holes to it. Shift A. So let's add circle like this. I'm gonna be using circle form for modeling in our tutorial tap into this mode like this it extrude hit z to extrude it along the z axis like this it extrude then hit s in order to scale like this so hit g and z to grab it on z axis extrude on z axis like this it extrude and z to extrude along the z axis here in our example, I have uh, many curved surfaces as shown here. For example, this uh, this section over there and section over there and section over there, all uh, are curved surfaces. So the solution is to keep a smooth subdivided version of the base shape. We have this base shape in our scene as shown in our example. Duplicate it and hide it. So just it select everything. So firstly, I think uh, I should rename it. So let's rename it. Hit A. I'm gonna be rename it uh, the base shape as shown here hit enter I'm gonna be duplicating this shape hit A then shift T we have uh, this mesh as shown here it's a bottle shown our example which is base mesh so or base shape as you can call it click over here in the outline editor in order to rename it base shape then hit enter i'm gonna be creating so just base uh, the base shape Base shape uh, or uh, the base mesh, it's over there. So I'm gonna be using the knife tool to create a hole. Hit enter to create a hole. So switch to face selection mode. Select all the faces settings to delete. Let's rename the base shape, which is uh, base shape, hit enter. So I'm going to be duplicating this uh, base shape. Switch to object uh, mode like this, then shift D. Click on left mouse button to confirm. I've created the, the base shape and this is duplicate. I will call it, for example, duplicate like this so just i'm gonna be hiding the duplicate version so let's add subdivision service modifier to our uh, base shape go over here search for subdivision service modifier set it to two i think it's good then just shade smooth then shade auto smooth like this So 
So let's hide the base shape. Click on this eye over here to hide it in the viewport. Let's unhide the duplicate that I've created. So just I want to create a hole and cut it over there to create a hole in this duplicate version. I'm gonna be using the knife tool shown here. Hit enter, so switch to face selection mode, select all the faces in this hole. Hit X to delete faces like this. So just I want to duplicate this uh, version. This version is uh, to apply the shrink wrap modifier in order to compare between when adding a uh, shrink wrap modifier and without shrink wrap modifier. So just shift D, click on left mouse button. So grab it on the Y axis like this, move it there. Just I'm going to be uh, rename it. Let's rename it uh, duplicate without without shrink wrap. So I want to hide it like this. Just I'm gonna be working on our duplicate version. So this time and let's apply subdivision surface modifier. Set the level to 3 and the render to 3. Let's apply the shrink wrap modifier. Let's uh, set it to project like this. Set the snub mode to on surface. Check negative, then go over here. Take this edge dropper and select the base shape like this. And also we have auxiliary target if you want. The set the offset vertex group if you want to add it using just vertex group. Let's hide this, go back to the base shape. And you have the result when applying shrink wrap modifier. So let's uh, work with uh, our duplicate without uh, using shrink wrap modifier. I'm gonna be using applying the subdivision surface modifier. Set it to three and set render to three. Shade smooth, then shade auto smooth like this. I want to use this matcap reflective matcap in order to show you the topology and how to improve it using this modifier. You can see clearly the problem. You have to use the shrink wrap modifier, it's a great modifier in order to get perfect topology, especially when you try to model holes and add in much more detailing and it's gonna be stretching the topology. And that's it for this tutorial, thanks for watching.